What is up wanderers? Prepared wander out in the woods today and we're gonna be taking a look at um, a fire starting method that is new to me. I've never seen one of these before and I'm really kind of anxious to play with it a little bit and get to share your, uh, my thoughts and hear what you guys think about it as well. So stick around. All right, so one of the most important items that you can carry in any of your survival kits, your fire kits, bushcraft kit, whatever you want to call it, is the humble lighter. Nothing like a good lighter in your kit to start a fire quickly. Um, but with lighters, there's pros and cons, just like there is with any kind of fire starting method. There's always pros and cons, and the lighter is no different. But uh, today's uh, review is going to be on a lighter that I've never seen before, and it's a different kind of lighter. And it's, it takes away some of those cons that are going to go with the traditional Bic lighter. Um, but it has a few cons of its own. So we're going to take a look at that and see what you guys think. Alright, so the lighter we're looking at today is this UST Tech Fire. And what this is, um, is an electronic lighter. And I don't know if we're going to get a, a good visual on this or not in the sun. We're going to try here. But by pressing a button, it, it creates an electronic arc that you're able to start a fire with. And what's nice about this lighter is that it is, there's no fuel and there, so there's nothing that can be affected by temperature, by altitude. Um, the only thing it's affected by is the lack of charging and it actually has a USB charger built into it. Uh, let's see where that's at here. Oh yeah, it's down here, it's on the bottom. So there's your USB charger. It's in a nice ruggedized, waterproof kind, or water resistant I should say, rubberized um, container. So it helps protect it. But I've never played with one of these before and, and a buddy of mine gave me this just to play with this weekend and do a film and do some video on it and I was really grateful because I always like trying new things and I thought well why not let's check this out and see what it's all about. So what I want to do is I want to test it on a couple different uh, fire making materials and see how it goes up, how easy it is to get lit and we'll try to film that and see if we can actually show that in action. Now also for comparison I have this electronic lighter as well. Now I don't know the brand of this. This is more of a generic one, something you might get at uh, uh, Walmart or Cabela, something like that, but it's the same It's the same premise. It's got that electronic arc when you press the button. So here they are side by side. So let's try... Try lighting a candle. That's an application that I would use a lighter for um, when out in the field. And you got to get the, the candle wick right in between the arcs. So let's see if I can do it. Okay, that's fairly easy, not a big deal. Now another test may be some kind of tinder. And here we've got a little bit of cotton ball with uh, petroleum jelly. So we're going to take out a hunk of this. Oh, 
and once again you got to be right in between those two uh, probes and the thing is you don't want the material you're to be touching the probes you want it in between the arcs so that makes it a little bit more difficult it's not like I mean like a, um, a standard Started right up. I think one of the mo probably the most difficult things you're going to have with one of these electronic lighters is probably doing a tender bundle because you're going to have it's going to be hard to control where you're placing the arc at uh, because it's such a small target area. It's not like an open flame that you can put underneath a, um, a tender bundle and just get it going that way by holding it. This is going to take a little bit more patience. Um, so for that regard, it may not be the best method. Uh, compared to some of your other methods that you carry with you, but I definitely think it's uh, something that is worth investigating and possibly using. Um, <clears throat> I think this one right here in my hand that I'm showing you, this the, t the Tech Fire, I think this is running around around $26, $27 retail. Uh, so definitely it's a little bit more expensive than a Bic lighter. Um, it's something that you're going to have to keep charged up. You can't just throw it in your kit and forget about it. You have to keep it charged up. Uh, keep checking on it to make sure that it's uh, holding a charge and that you're going to be able to use it that way. Um, that's, that's probably one of the bigger downsides of this type of lighter, but I think it's definitely worth looking at and adding to your kit as, a, as a, a, another method of starting a fire. A uh, very nice rugged case on this one. Hard plastic shell. It looks like it'd be pretty pretty water resistant. Uh, I'm not going to dunk these because these are not mine, so I don't want to get them wet and ruin them forever. Um, uh, but I think that that may be also a downside too, is they probably are water resistant, but they're probably not waterproof. And once you get water in that USB uh, port, you're going to have problems with it. Um, but all in all, I mean, it seems to light a fire just fine if you're, con if you're watching how you do it. It takes a little bit more control, a little bit more eye-hand coordination, uh, but it's definitely a, a cool, uh, neat uh, way of starting a fire. Okay, guys, that was it for today. Just a quick video to show you those two lighters, see what you think about them. Um, jury's out for me if I would actually go out and purchase one or not. Uh, I think they're pretty cool. I wouldn't mind having one, I guess, but I don't know if, if it's something I'd want to depend upon in my fire kit. The good old-fashioned Bic seems to do a pretty good job, um, but there's always room for improvement with these fire starting tools, and it's always it's always good to, to try new things and to look at new things and experiment with them and see what you think, because you just never know. Um, also, I wanted to remind you of a couple of things. The uh, Facebook group is growing. We have over a thousand members now and uh, it's getting huge and it is a lot of fun. It's kind of a no BS zone, a great place just to post things that you're thinking about and see what other people are doing. So please look at the link below for that. Um, and if you're interested, the Prepared Wanderer Orange Patch is back in stock on, on Big Cartel. So if you go to bigcartel.com, search Prepared Wanderer, this patch will come up. It's $5 shipped in the U.S. Uh, it's Velcro back, so you can put it on your on your cool guy gear. Uh, really nice embroidery on this thing. Uh, so that helps support the channel a lot. If you're interested in that, there's a link down below for that as well. So we'll see you next time on The Prepared Wander, and thanks for watching.